Hello viewers, welcome to Badak Farms Academy and today we are going to give you a very exciting video I mean I would say that it is a genesis of uh, being st uh, like starting a poetry and you know before you receive your deal which is you must at least prepare make some preparation and that is what today we are going to study a preparation you make to receive a deal which is as a farmer or maybe uh, being a starter in a pottery business. You could see that we are in a, I would say, it's a, it's a house. It's a Buddha house. You could see that um, we are fenced, they are painted with this transparent rubber all over around. You could see uh, at, a, at this point, we have a black rubber and at the other, side of it we have a white I mean rubber and uh, it's very interesting to know what it goes or uh, it know to know how to I mean breed your uh, deal now this pin actually is uh, a pin that has been used already and there was some fowls here who have been sold and we are prepared for a new ones and this is the preparation and we are going to I mean show you how to prepare for your day oats and whether your pen has been used before or is a new one that we are going to use um, today let's go by this way you know before um, you put in all these sawdust, you know, before you put in the sawdust, you have to at least spray the room, you have to spray your room with a disinfectant, because it's an already used pin, you have to spray your room with disinfectant, and this drug is called paturite. Uh, some farmers prefer to use, um, is the pattern like queenside, like homicide, they are all good in the market. You have to spray, you wash the pin properly to, I mean, um, clear all bacteria and then virus and then fungi in that particular pin to help you, um, I mean, to at least help your day oats from Newcastle disease and then Gumboro disease or virus. And after you have cleaned the pain with disinfectant, you have to, I mean, um, have your this uh, rubber is a transparent. Why we prefer transparent rubber is that before sun, I mean, rises early in the morning by 5:30, I mean, the day will just be able. To uh, at least start to, uh, I mean, feed themselves, because you know every fowl before um, sunset or early in the dawn, you you see that um, they are coming forth or can be moving up and down for their feed. So most of the times you use this transparent one to at least uh, allow them to feed for a long time. Aside that, uh, what you need also is you need a sawdust. You know, you could see a, a, a heap of this sawdust is at least an one inch or an inch to the ground. We put more of this sawdust in a pin to prevent, I mean, the day old to step on the ground. Um, so. You put on this uh, sawdust after the rubber to, I mean, uh, keep the day old warm and then to also provide heat for them. You know, we bring this, um, this day old because right from hatching, you know, um, they may not survive themselves to the weather or to the uh, atmosphere around so what you need and 
what you need for them is to have to at least have make them warm so that their feathers can I mean come up well. And you see, when you when you cast your eye around, you could see many fruits. And this is the the fruit for our day wood. You could see some of them over here. And this in this particular pen, we are expecting two thousand day old. And for the two thousand day old, we have spread this. Um, I mean, this braid, the feeding braid, about eighty of them in this particular pen. So if we count down, we are many, so that at least they can. Every uh, day old can attend to one of these breeds and feed. So, and also, you can see this, um, what you call, you could see this, um, it's something that we put charcoal. I mean, uh, but it's an, actually a co pot, and this is the pottery co pot, a very manual one that we use. <laughs> it's so interesting. Yeah, so it's a co pot for, it's a co pot that we use to breed a uh, day old. And what you do is we put this charcoal. We fill the charcoal, you know, we fill the charcoal, we put the charcoal, sorry, inside for it to be filled to some limit, and then you put fire inside. And normally we do that when you see that uh, the day old, they are very cold, you can see them cold, and uh, that is why we put this fire actually. And normally we set this fire around 10 p.m. or yeah most of, most of the times in the night and early in the morning when you see them uh, in a very cold i mean uh, way so that is it so this is how actually we prepare to receive our day food that is what we do to prepare uh, there is our preparation to receive our day old. So this particular pen is 40 by 40. As I've already said, we are expecting 2,000 bags, 2,000 day old, and they are going to stay in this breeder house for two to three weeks. By two to three weeks, they are done. I will remove it. So you need in a preparation. You need one, you need to disinfect or I mean spray the thing with disinfectant, any disinfectant that you could take as in a pottery, uh, I mean drugs. And then secondly, you have your breeder rubber. And then after preparing that, you put sawdust inside. Yeah, the room must be filled with sawdust. Yeah, so the rubber and uh, I mean, the sawdust, including the charcoal, inside the the this thing, um, inside this particular cupboard, will provide heat, a maximum heat, for your day old to, I mean, grow fast. You could see our top, yeah. We have trouble also. So in this particular room that we are spending uh, 2,000 day old, we are going to use this trough, um, 40 of them, 40, 40 of this trough, so that at least each bed can have um, a maximum intake of water. So that is, that is how a breeder house, or this is how we prepare to, I mean, receive your day old. You can go about it. Maybe you are a starter. 
you are just beginning your poetry. You have to go through all this so that you will not uh, regret, um, so that you will escape what you call Gumburu and then Newcastle is, uh, virus. So that is how it is done. Um, our next episode or our next video, when they come, we are going to, I mean, follow, we are going to give you a video bit by bit how, I mean, a poetry or day poetics, um, how we breed them. Uh, throughout the day, we are going to give you a very live video. You know, when they arrive, we'll give you a video about it and how to go about it. When they arrive, the first drug that we have to give to them, and the next day, the drug that we have to give to them, and how we go about day old so that it will help you. There is Bedak Farm. Um, there is Bedak Farm. So we uh, appreciate for following our channel always and uh, all that we are saying is that you share you subscribe and then you like it god bless you for following us and we are going to meet in another video goodbye